Hey guys, I know it's been a while since the last art video on this channel, but we're changing that now with this vlog about all of the things I've done over the past couple weeks. Christmas kind of just snuck up on me, and with Christmas always comes a bunch of cooking, which was so much fun. I always love to try new things and just cook up different things, and I even made some videos out of it, so perfect. But the other thing that comes with Christmas is gifts. And in my family, since we're quite a few with all the cousins and uncles, we do this Secret Santa style, where you take a name out of a hat and you only have one person to get a gift for. And this year, my name on the paper was my sweet, sweet grandma. So I thought it'd be nice to paint her something, and I thought it'd be nice to paint her a portrait of her two favorite grandsons. Which, I'm joking, I don't want my cousins to come at me. But I am doing a portrait of me and my brother. And I wanted to do it in a little bit of a different style, kind of like a little bit more cartoonish, which is what we're sketching here. But it's the first time I'm doing this, so let's see how it goes. And since it's 2021, when I'm recording this voiceover, I thought this would also be a good time to talk about my resolutions for 2021. But I don't really like the word resolution, so let's call it my plans for 2021. And in case you're new to this channel, maybe this is the first video you're watching of mine, I thought it'd be nice to also give you a little context about how we ended up here, having a channel and making art videos and cooking videos and all of those things. So for the past five years, for the five years before 2020, I used to work as a software engineer for a company in San Francisco. I lived in San Francisco for a few years and then after having some visa problems, and not getting deported, but I had to leave the country. And so I started working remotely for the San Francisco company, which was definitely not a bad thing. I got to travel a little bit, I had some flexibility with my time, but one thing that tends to happen, or at least it did with me because the company was in San Francisco and I was in Portugal, there was such a big time difference that I always end up being in work mode so you never really got to turn off your brain because you always had to reply to emails at weird times you always had to do things very early or very late and so it's just very mind taxing and because of that when i didn't when i suddenly didn't have a job in november of 2029 uh, 2029 2019 i thought okay let's just take a year off not have to worry about wi-fi not have to worry about emails not have to worry about being connected and just enjoy myself, get a breather, relax, and travel. My plan was to, I used to own a van in San Francisco, so my plan was to go to San Francisco, get in my van, road trip the United States, and then go down to Mexico and keep going down to South America. That sounded so good. But then 2020 happened, and COVID happened, and we all got locked in the house, not really knowing what to do, I didn't have a job, and so I decided to pick up a new skill. And I bought some brushes, I bought some paints, and I decided to start learning how to paint. And since I was starting something from scratch, I thought it'd be nice to document it, and I started making some videos. The beginning was, during the first lockdown in Portugal, we had a 14-day lockdown, I decided, okay, for every day of the lockdown, I'm gonna challenge myself to create something and make a video out of it. And this is how everything started. Now, we made it to 2021. Uh, I've done like, I don't even know, 30, 40 videos over this past year. I feel like my painting has improved a lot and I've also picked up some more interested. I started cooking more and making more elaborate recipes. And so I decided to also make videos out of those things. And who knows what the future is gonna hold for the immediate future before the vaccine and the world kind of returns to some sort of normal. So uh, we got to the present and my plan for 2021 is to definitely keep going with my YouTube channel. And my goal is to take it to a thousand subscribers, which is a thousand because it's a nice big round number. So this is a nice place to plug it. Uh, if you're not subscribed, just go down to the little red button and thank you. But now let's just pause and look at my grandma opening a gift. <laughs> She's so cute and small. And she was happy with the painting, so that made me happy.
And now this is a few days after Christmas. In Christmas, I got a few gifts, which was very nice. I appreciate that. And one of the gifts I got was from my dad. It was this charcoal kit. And I've never used charcoal. So it was this charcoal kit here. Look, it looks really nice. And it has all of these weird things inside, which I don't know what they are. Like these pencils, these little charcoal blocks. It even, even has sandpaper, which I don't know what it's for. So I decided to try it out. I got a piece of paper out. I tested everything to see how it blended and how it erased and how it just looks. Drew this little eye. But the other thing I got for Christmas was that pink sweater I'm wearing. It's a Rick and Morty sweater that I got from a friend because I love Rick and Morty. And so I decided the perfect way to test this is to make a little Rick and Morty portrait. But I didn't want to just do the cartoon style that they have. So I wanted to get my style a little bit in that and make them a little funky and twisty. So we're going to start with Morty now and then we'll do Rick later. But let's go back to my plans for 2021. Get my YouTube channel to a thousand subscribers, which thank you, you're already one of them. And now let's go to my art plans. Most of the art I've done so far have been on paper and like A4 pieces of paper. So I want to try and do more canvas art. Do it on canvases, do it on bigger canvases, and just improve my art in that way. Make them bigger and better. And I also really like that shot <laughs> that's happening with the sun behind me. That looks so nice. The other art thing I want to do is just try out more digital art. I think up until now I've done maybe like three portraits. So I want to give it a better try. The third thing I want to do is try painting outdoors, like have a little painting kit and just go somewhere, maybe see a cool building or a cool landscape and just sit down and paint what I'm looking at instead of taking a picture and then painting at home. That sounds so nice to just sit down and paint there. The fourth thing I want to do is get my art in some piece of clothing, which is also very, I think it's easy to achieve that. I just need to either paint it myself or maybe get it printed. But I've been eating a black sweatshirt and I thought it'd be cool to have something of my own in the sweatshirt. So we'll figure that out. And the last thing I want to do in my art is I really want to try sculpture. Maybe I need to get some sort of clay or something, but that sounds fun. I want to do some sculpture. And now we're in a different day again and we're going to start painting something. So we need to switch into my painting clothes. But first I needed to just soak up some of that sun because it was so nice and warm that day as opposed to today that it's cold when I'm recording this. Um, but we're going to be painting this egg timer thingy that you put in a pot with a bunch of eggs and it tells you how boiled they are, if they're soft boiled or hard boiled. Mine broke a few days ago. And I looked at it and I thought, ooh, it would be cool to paint a baby in there. So we're going to sketch out the baby, see how big we can make them, see what the pose of the baby should be. Because apparently the top side of the egg is like a magnifying glass. So we need to make the, the baby a lot smaller. But before we start painting, I decided to just take advantage of the last hours of sun of this day and just go out, get some vitamin D, breathe some fresh air of the nature that is around my neighborhood. And also just appreciate the street art that's around. I have a lot of good street art and a lot of murals around my neighborhood and they're all super inspiring. And I also thought I was gonna get rich at this point because I found a 500 euro bill, <laughs> but it was very small. So I wasn't rich and I went back to my house and I needed to start painting. But let's go back to what my plans for 2021 are. So I think I've done all of the art ones. Paint bigger and better, digital art, uh, painting outdoors, have some of my art on a piece of clothing and try out sculpture. So now let's go back or let's go to my plans that are not art related. And I guess this first one is also art related but it's not painting related. I wanna try and make a song so I've gotten Logic before, which is like this music production software. I don't know what the, how to describe it. Um, but then I tried it and I just got really frustrated because I don't have any sort of music theory knowledge and I gave up. So I want to give it a stronger try. <laughs> just try it again and try to not give up so early. 
And then the last thing, not the last thing, the next thing I want to do is since I've sold my van in San Francisco, RIP Codfish, which was the name of my van, um, I want to try and get one in Portugal and just travel that way. Still avoiding people, still being COVID safe, but get a few trips here, like travel a little bit around Portugal, maybe go to Europe and just do some of that. That sounds incredible. So I need to get a van on this side of the Atlantic. And the other thing I want to do is just more backpacking trips. I've done one last year to the mountains in the north of Portugal with my brother. And my brother even made a video out of it, which I'll link up in the cards. Um, so I want to do more trips of those, like three to five day small trips, which sounds really nice. But then I want to try and do one that's a lot longer, maybe like two weeks plus. Because it just sounds so nice to just be out there on the trail, only have to worry about food and water, and I guess the weather. Um, and me and my brother already have a trail in sight. We're already planning for it. So we're just waiting for the weather to get better. And then we'll get out there and we'll just make some videos out of it. So just stay tuned. And I think those are my plans for 2021. I'm excited. I think 2021 is going to be a good year. Do you have any plans? What are your, what are the things you want to achieve for 2021? Put them down in the comments. And it's always better to write them down so you have something to look back to. So when I get to 2022, I'm gonna come back to this video, look at the things I had planned, see which of them I achieved, hopefully all of them, and I can just feel good about myself. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and with that, we got to the end of this video. So just happy new year, have an incredible 2021. I have a good feeling it's gonna be a good year. And maybe, give it a like to this video i know you're already subscribed so i don't need to say the subscribe to this channel <laughs> and i'll see you in the next video yeah have a good year